So the very first thing that comes to my mind is that prayer is all about building our relationship with God. I mean, direct communication. This is how we directly communicate with God. And any relationship you can think of, if it's going to grow, has to have communication in it, correct? Now, before you say Captain Obvious, you're starting once again. Hello, welcome to the Simple Not Shallow podcast. My name is Charles, and this is the Coffee Side Chat series. So named because of this cup of coffee sitting on the table right beside me. And we're coming to you from the very hallowed halls of my kitchen university. Well, what better place to sit, talk, laugh, and learn together than the kitchen table? Now, this episode, we're going to be talking about prayer. You know, what it is, why it's so important. Now, as we get going, I do want to mention that many people have had very wonderful conversations about prayer, explaining all the whys, the wherefores, the depths, the hows, and all that good stuff. And two of my favorite resources for learning about prayer are the first is Dallas Willard's book, Hearing God, and the second is Andrew Murray's book, um, The School of Prayer. Now, the first is a fairly recent book. The second is a fairly not-so-much recent book. But both are very excellent resources to, in learning about prayer. And both, at the time of this recording, are available on Amazon.com. I'll let you look them up if you so desire. Now, here's the question. What could a man, even standing in the hallowed halls of my kitchen university over a cup of coffee, add to any of the depth and profoundness of what these others have mentioned when it comes to prayer? What could I add to the topic? I don't know. But what better place to kick around an idea than standing at the kitchen counter over a wonderful cup of coffee? And as we talk, remember, we're going to be looking at this through the lens of what it means to be a Christian, which is a following of Christ that involves a relationship, leading to studentship, leading to a way of life, th acting out of everything learned. So relationship grows, you learn more, you live more. Not any one of those individually. They're all together, all united, all working together. They cannot be separated. So, with that in mind, what is prayer? Well, the first thing that comes to my mind, and, and please, it as you go through this discussion, if you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments section. But please be civil and be. do let me know why you disagree. Don't just say, I disagree. Let me know what you're thinking. That way communication can happen. So the very first thing that comes to my mind is that prayer is all about building our relationship with God. I mean, direct communication. This is how we directly communicate with God. And any relationship you can think of, if it's going to grow, has to have communication in it, correct? Now, before you say Captain Obvious, you're starting once again. Maybe so. But how many times have you approached God simply talking at him, telling him what you need? God, I need this. I need this. I need you to do this for me. I need help here. I need this. I need this. I need this. Now. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with asking God for things. But if that's all you do, rather than using it as a way of getting to know him better and growing a relationship, well, you're not really wanting God. What you're wanting, what you're demonstrating you want, and please forgive the slight crudeness here, but you're looking for a sugar daddy, someone to take care of you, period. There's no love in merely asking for things. So, communication, relationship. The second thing it brings to mind is that it is the primary way that we share ourselves with God. Now, before you say, share ourselves with God, doesn't God already know us completely? 
what on earth could we possibly share with him that he doesn't already know? How is that important? How is it relevant? Well, you know, tell me this. What relationship have you ever had where you didn't share yourself with another person? See, sharing is a primary way that relationship grows in us as well as the other person. For trust is built as we share ourselves with another person. If you don't share yourself, you don't trust. You may ask for things, you may get things, you may even be grateful for those things, but you don't really trust the person because you haven't shared yourself. Right? Sharing involves uh, an intimacy. It involves, well, trusting that the other person isn't going to use that information against you. All right. Now, you may be thinking, okay, okay, communication. Communication's a two-way street. What does God do to communicate? I haven't heard him speak to me in communication's two ways. How does God speak to me? Yes, communication is a two-way street. And God does speak to us, primarily through the Bible. See, reading the Bible isn't about performing a religious activity. It's not about learning a religious way of life. I mean, those are benefits as well, but the primary purpose of reading the Bible is learning who God is. It is the primary way, rather, that God reveals himself to us, that he shares who he is, what he likes, what he loves. But he doesn't. He shares with us these beautiful things in the Bible. Now, again, yes, we do learn a way of life. Yes, we do learn religious things while reading. But if that is the only thing you're getting from reading the Bible, you are missing out on so much. Well, the joy and abundance of life that Jesus came comes from learning who Jesus is, learning who God is so much more than mere religious teaching. Well, one final note before we wrap all this up, because my coffee is getting a little bit short. And like I've said before, it's a dangerous thing, me talking without enough coffee. Just ask anybody. So the final note, prayer, very deep subject. This is just an introductory video, an introductory episode that tells you a little bit about prayer. You know, please check out the resources I've mentioned and any other you trust, you know, and that is Dallas Willard's book, Hearing God, and Andrew Murray's book, The School of Prayer. Another two books that I have found very, very helpful in, in learning who God is, is A.W. Tozer's uh, The Attributes of God. They are um, volume one and volume two tell you all about the different attributes the Bible tells us God has and how they all work together. So those four books, beautiful, beautiful. All four are found on Amazon. The titles will be listed in the description box. Um, yeah. And if you're interested, you can look them up. Very good. Well then, until next time, I hope your prayer life grows. I hope your relationship with God matures. I hope you become a more astute student and learn to live what you've learned. Well, until then, may your cup of coffee overflow. <laughs>